Screen Queens Season 1 Episode 10. This episode is called Thanksgiving, another episode I love, and spoilers for these first 10 episodes. Chanel, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but I can't bone you right now. I didn't kill Hester, I just pushed her. Gravity killed her. Yeah, we we put her body in the in the meat locker, where we put all the bodies. I mean, if if you've reached a point in your life where so many people have died in a short space of time that you're like, yeah, that's of course that's where we're gonna dump the body. You may have made some wrong life choices along the way. Chanel, that is so hard. I want to see her body. We can have three-way with the body. <laughs> wow. And, uh, yeah, the... Where's the body? How does this keep happening? How do we keep losing the dead bodies? Can you please just answer me that? Did you take her pulse? No, because I'm not a registered nurse. Just, yeah, and Gigi and Red Devil are celebrating Thanksgiving as a family. It just, yeah, that's that's really, really funny. And the, you know, it just isn't Thanksgiving if you don't have the the engine running for the, the just, yeah. And based on the end of, the, you know, at the end of the episode, we see that she has been, you know, her head has been been cooked. So I guess maybe Red Devil killed her at the end of this scene, because the last thing we see is him getting the, the blade, and then it cuts before we see anything else, so just, yeah. And... Yeah, the various, you know, the different characters are going to try spending Thanksgiving with their family, and the the... Chanel number three is, you know, talks about, you know, oh, it's, we're just so lucky that we're not, that, that we're born rich in America, not poor in one of those African countries. Wow. Or one of those other African countries after she's mentioned like three. So, yeah, that's, and, you know, apparently family, Thanksgiving for her is like a, a Tinder date. Your dad started drinking early today, so don't make eye contact with him. Wow. Challenge me to a duel. I know, I know, I know. And, and it's extremely important to her father, Mr. Swenson, played by Gary Grubbs, cool to see him again, that people are on time because their entire family fortune is built on being on time. If the, you know, the, the directions on their frozen dinners were not followed to the letter, either it would still be frozen or it would be overcooked. You know, so, so you have to sit with the help. And they're all, you know, and they're sitting in front of the, the TV as just, yeah. I I really love that, that like, because this is kind of, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I, I like the idea that this is how, let's see, I, f I forget who in real life, I want to say Tucker Carlson is like, you know, born of, of one of those families that made money on the, the, What's it called? Fr frozen dinner or so something like that. You know, I love the idea that when he goes home to celebrate Thanksgiving, they're all sitting there with actual TV dinners. Just wow. And and you know, it's not something I've ever heard, but I can imagine the thing that Chanel Number Three says. You know, why is it called? What was it? Italian to you know chicken. To, all Italian chicken is is that you know, you know. So I'm going home. And Dean Munch is killing the turkey. And 
Did you really think we were going to pardon a turkey? We're just waiting until people aren't watching so we can kill it. And, you know, the, the I've, I've never cooked anything before, but I don't eat, so. I'll cook and eat for the both of us. Afterwards, we have to play a game of charades. And... <laughs> I, I admire, like, someone working on this episode, like, it was their mission in life that the Radwell family be truly awful. You know, so, so, Tad, the father, gets up and says, Chanel, Chad never talks about you, you know. Oh, Chanel Oberlin, you're the one that Chad never starts talking about. Just yeah, yeah, that's that's amazing. And yeah, so so for those keeping score, the men of the family are Chad, Thad, Brad, and Tad. Just yeah, some someone's got a rhyming dictionary. I can tell. And the, the thing with, you know, Chanel brags about, oh, you know, we are from all the way back. You know, actually, my great-great-great-grandfather signed the Declaration of Independence, but only on the back because there wasn't any more room. And we came over on the Mayflower, and then Bunny's like, oh, well, we, our family came over on the ship 30 years before the Mayflower. Just, wow. And the thing that Thad Radwell is thankful about is porn. That's amazing. That's just, yeah. And very cool to see Chad Michael Murray again. I haven't seen him in, in something in a while. You know, not going to claim that I was like a fan of One Tree Hill, but, you know, it, it, it passed the time. But, yeah, the... the <laughs> And, and, and I love that when, yeah, and, and he's talking about, you know, I, I was born to take advantage of creative people, which, you know, that, that hits deep. That's, that's, a that was definitely written by someone who's worked for a Brad Radwell. And Chad is talking about, you know, I'm, I'm really grateful to the person that I wouldn't be with. I wouldn't be here if not for them, and I wouldn't be the person I am if not for them. I am, of course, talking about the serial killer. You know, I'm so glad he didn't kill me, and the mom is like, I'm so glad he didn't kill you, too. And, you know, she's, I'm grateful for all the women that you'll meet and break up with and new ones you'll meet. It's just, like, she couldn't, she's practically doing a show tune about, you know, dancing around on the table. Please don't date my son. Please don't date my son. It just, she could, you know, and, and at this point, Chanel has had it. Like, you should be grateful that this table is too long, that I can't reach over there and d d choke you. You d d just, yeah. And then Hester shows up. I'm so, that, see, that's what I'm grateful for. I, I, you know, I did say in my video on last episode, ugh, I'm really gonna miss her, you know, Leia Michelle, awesome, but she's, I'm, I'm so glad she's back, and she was actually saved by the brace, so they were actually, they made both jokes, you know, at the end of the previous episode, it was like, oh, not much of a neck brace, is it, because it didn't stop her neck from breaking, and now they do the joke of, it was such a great neck brace that it actually stopped, and her lying on the cold floor of the meat locker, with the swelling, which is like, I mean, technically, it's, you know, it's it's heightened, but yeah, cool, you know, cold, you know, intense coldness can be can be effective for for limiting swelling. That's that's scientifically proven. So just yeah, that's that's truly amazing. And I I appreciate how much. Bunny absolutely despises Hester. Also, shout out to so Alan Thick is playing Tad Radwell. Oh, R.I.P. And 
yeah, like he is, holy crap, 112 credits as an actor, so yeah, he's been in stuff. Um, I think he's another one of those, they, the show likes to, to bring back people that are like really beloved and have them say and do just truly awful things. Oh yeah, yeah, he was on Married to the Children, I remember him from that, for sure. But, was there anything else? Um, hmm. Copper Mountain. Wow, that's a movie I haven't thought about for like seven years. Um, yeah, I don't really know, but but I'm sure he's he's like famous for for something to be. But yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, and and. <laughs> Various people make their case for who is the Red Devil, and Dean Munch says it's number three, to which she says, I haven't killed anyone, as far as I know. <laughs> that That's a, you know, that's a, that's a, just in case, may, maybe, maybe add that after, after making a statement like that, and yeah, the the TMI about her her pooping and that's why she will worked up a sweat and like I did I remember like I read the reviews before I started watching not all of them but a bunch of them and like one said you know they're making way too many poop jokes and you know I have a pretty high bar for like gross out comedy you can go very very gross and I'll be like okay. I'm not saying they've stepped over that line, but I get why some people feel that there's too many poop jokes on this show. That is definitely, yeah. That is an overly complicated cover story. Yeah, but aren't those the best ones? And I appreciate, you know, hold the phone, Dean Munch. She actually, it, it, yeah, legitimately, she's, she's about to make a call on her phone. So she's holding the phone. You know, normally that's a, that's a, like, it's a saying, it's not necessarily referring to actually, yeah. And, yeah, number three accuses Dean Munch. Being drunk on wine still means you're drunk, Mom. That, that's, that's a special kind of, Hi, it's me. Chanel, your daughter. <laughs> Amazing. How much is it going to take? Are you propositioning me? No, I'm offering you money so you can leave and never come back. You know, 50000 that's, you know, you can buy a, what was it, a, um, an olive garden or whatever you people do. I mean, I don't know if that's how disgustingly, grossly rich people talk to disgustingly rich people, but I like the idea, you know, and apparently there is a massive, like, they're, they're terrified of not being the richest. Let's see. I, I don't know, Chanel, I mean, you say she's not pregnant, she says she is. You say she's dead, she says she's, she isn't dead. I, I kind of believe her. I mean, I feel like that's a, that's a, that's a decent point. Um, you know, she really doesn't look dead. You said she was dead. She says she's not dead. She looks alive to me. It's, it's kind of, kind of difficult to, you know, and then the, you know, and, um, are you just gonna start pushing people downstairs now? I mean, I think we all agree that's not the most adult conflict resolution. And... Yeah, and and Chanel number five comes back. You're like, you know, I brought eight meat stuffing, and it's all sliced so thinly that you'll be getting each meat in every bite. Which I feel like that's the exact opposite of what you would want. Like you'd want it to be nice and mixed together. So it's just like, but but yeah, that's and and you know, um, I thought you said you were leaving and never coming back. She says a lot. 
and you know she she did go to be with her family but apparently they all forgot to say that they left for the Maldives this year for Thanksgiving which wow like these are some truly terrible families so I, I hardly think there's anyone more likely to be the killer than Dean Munch then not then then oh I hate you which I, I really appreciate. I, I feel like there's someone writing these that actually does want to say the things that Dean Munch says. You know, like that. There's the the thing about you know her a, a feather. I think her name was mispronouncing baloney as balogna, and then you have the. I just realized that's even worse because she was there. She. She spent time there. She heard it said by the people there. And then she was like, Ah, I think you'll find it's pronounced Bologna, not Bologna. Oh. Those poor local people, they're just so silly. They just don't understand. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. And the, and the things that Dean Munch said to Justice uh, uh, Scalia? Perlita, uh, uh, yeah, one of the one of the awful justices, you can pick one at random. You know, the, the, yeah. But yeah, that is like, how did, yeah. I, I too find it frustrating when people mess up then and then. It's just, you know, my, my parents are teachers, so what do you, you know, well, my mother was. Now she's worm food. And the, but, but yeah, um, let's see. My father's just retired. But yeah, the the um, yeah, that was that was really funny, and and the uh, let's see it, and and yeah, several of them believe that Munch is the Red Devil, and they point out she's not allergic to bologna because she's eating the the stuff right now that that has the yeah, and. <laughs> And West thinks that Grace is the Red Devil. And yeah, you know, there the there is a certain there is logic in what he says. And apparently Zayday has been live tweeting, so Pete shows up. <laughs> I know everything that you've already said, just yeah. And you know, it turns out Grace was present during the acid spray tan that we saw earlier. And I appreciate because we we saw what happened in the room after Chanel number one left. We didn't see what happened with her after she left. So yeah, makes sense. You know, she could easily have passed Grace there. I uh, remember when we threw her out. Good times, and they clink their glasses together. And yeah, and Pete was dressed as the Red Devil at one point, and then. Pete accuses Wes. Yeah, you are never marrying Grace. That's definitely. <laughs> and yeah, the game of Pictionary. Like, holy crap! The cruelty on display is insane. The f the line the the words "fake unborn baby" are are a thing to behold. You give the the otherwise clean name of Hollywood a bad name. Oops. Chad, I don't ever want to see you ever again. You know you, know you say that a lot, right? <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, and then we, you know, Pete talks about the, the motive, the motive that Wes may have had. And he explained, no, 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 just, uh, you know, paleo. Oh, I have been wanting to mention you. You, you look good. I don't know. It works. It's... Mr. Um, Mr. Gardner, I'm sorry to say, you are the father. So yeah, turns out that he, you know, he's actually Boone's father, and. Yeah, the the 
It really could be anyone, anyone except you or me. And yeah, and and you know Chanel, you know she is excellent at tearing down people. So yeah, she delivers a very very great takedown of the entire Radwell clan. You know, and and I especially appreciate the thing about you know, uh, hold on, Thad, you are destined for a lot of prison time for uh, for like sexual misconduct, something like that, you know, and just the yeah the the various ones, and you know she leaves, and then you know once she, yeah she explains it to to Chanel number five, and then she's like. So, kind of sounds like you're out 50k for no good reason. <laughs> what a weird way to put that. <laughs> this is definitely, you know, I was out finding something to light things on fire with. I can't be a killer. I'm not a killer. Look, I've been sharpening a knife. It is definitely sharp enough now to cut through roasted meat. Okay. Um, good to know. And Chad is back for to get his turkey on, you know, not for and and he still doesn't think that his family is awesome, awful. He thinks they're awesome, and you know, it's like, oh wow, you know, the turkey must be ready now, and you know, lift, and we just get a reaction shot of everyone, <laughs> you know, even even the guys who, of course, have the the deeper screams, but still like horror movie screams. That's that's good, and we see that. You know, it was Gigi's head under the 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 thing. So, yeah, that does that really heavily implies that someone at that table is the remaining killer, the the remaining Red Devil, because you know the the yeah someone put that head in in the oven, and just yeah, really really. Just amazing stuff. Really, I'm yeah. I'm so glad I'm watching this show. And I don't think I have anything more to say. I've, do I know Faith Prince who plays Christy Swenson? Um, hmm, maybe not. She's done Disney stuff, I see. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. Excellent episode. Really, really excited for, for next. I really appreciate it. Like, they legitimately, this is... I mean, I, yeah, I was about to say THE Thanksgiving from Hell, but it's like three. Four, I guess? We've got Gigi... Getting in, ending up getting killed by someone that she considers family, pretty hellish. We've got Chanel number three who can barely stay for even a tiny bit of time with her family. Then we got the Radwell situation, and finally we have the the whole Cap Kappa Tau situation there, with them all accusing each other of of just yeah. Honestly, sounds like these are maybe even worse than, like, my family's Thanksgivings. I'm kidding. We don't celebrate Thanksgiving anymore. Seriously, no. We're not American, so we don't force each other to eat the driest bird known to man. But, yeah. Did that... No, it did, uh, when is thanks? I don't. I don't think the episode actually aired on Thanksgiving. That would have been a real. That would have been great. But I forget when is Thanksgiving again. I'll have it momentarily. Um, it the oh hold on the fourth fourth Thursday of November. Actually, I think it did air on it. It yeah November twenty fourth. Wow! So that it legit was the Thanksgiving special of the, yeah. So so people can appreciate just how bad a family Thanksgiving can be. That's yeah. Um, 
yeah, I think that is everything I have to say for this one. So, yeah, um, before the week is out, I will do a video on a movie. And other than that, this is it for this week. So, hope to catch you then.